This week, we add more bottles and bags to the outdoor earth bag tub area, Garen and Ellie experiment with soaking wood on their van conversion, and Dad gets some welcome help clearing the hoop barn area. We are back at it again with the bottle wall that's going around the outdoor tub that we're building, which is made out of earth bags. Yep. And Shay came over, which was great, except that I had to use extra brain power to try to figure out where Not these... easy. Yeah. I've said this before, but it's getting more and more difficult the more bottles are coming in and then trying to figure out now where the wave is going to go. So this is what's scary. I'm hoping this is going to be okay. She is doing really great. It's not an easy job. It's like we're having to be human 3D printers. Build right. From the bottom up. Bottom up. You know, like a printer. <laughs> and Shay, she's just full of beans. I'm not crying. I'm just moisturizing my beard. <laughs> Which is really making it even harder to concentrate. And then it's a beard with little tears. <laughs> She has days where she's got really great funny jokes, mm -hmm. and then she's got days where she thinks she has great and funny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the day that we were on. But <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I was hey. too busy working. No, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's noisy over here building a wall. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it so funny is not her jokes because it was an off day for her, but how funny she thought she was. It, it made it all worth it. They missed me. You know they missed me. She's like, ah! So you're like, yeah! It worked out. Oh! Oh, gross! An Oompa Loompa must have sneezed in this okay, one. So <laughs> We're gonna start working on the window trim and the wall trim. The trim is definitely a little daunting to me because last time when we did it, we had a few cracks. So this time we have a few things we're gonna try. Hi. So this time we have a few things we're gonna try to keep this trim from cracking when we're bowing it to the walls. Yeah, hopefully it works good. All right, let's do it. We're taking two by fours and ripping them down into the trim size that we need because it's a little more cost effective to do it like that. Plus then we can really decide what sizes we want our trim to be. Okay, next. Our next big project is getting the shop completed. And before we can get there, we need to clean up around that area. If it was up to both me and mom, nothing would go. I decided just to let dad decide what needs to go, and that will decide my projects for the future, I guess. <laughs> looks like I did them three eighths. Are we gonna do them the same thickness? Yeah, I think that thickness worked pretty good, and it looks okay. It looks really nice, that thing. So, let's see if this will go up high enough. I think that it will. Barely. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. That's not bad. Oh. It's a one inch piece, three eighths. Yeah, I think that we can get two pieces out of that. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, we are ready. One at 46. Let's do 50, 46. Okay. Okay, let's get those cut. Okay. 56 and a 36. Last time when we were doing trim, I had some really good comment about soaking all of our trim pieces in water before we install them. That way when they bend and bow to the curve of the van, they're not splitting and cracking on us. So we're gonna do that this time. Look at how much we how much waste we had on that. Nice job, babe. Okay, so these are all we need to soak. We're thinking if we can take some old wood and a sheet of plastic, we can put that in and then fill it with water a little bit and then soak in that. Found this thing lying around and some little two by sixes here, so I think we can build a little trough 
We can line said trough, fill said trough with water, and then soak our boards. Sounds like a good idea. It's not exactly square. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. But something like, be like this. Sure. Some liquid in here. Are you helping? Thanks, kiddo. Should we test our thing out? He's soaking. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna have to weight him down. Grab a brick here. I don't know how long these need to soak either. They honestly might not need to soak for that long. Can you put it in the water too? <laughs> yeah. What do you think, kid? Think it's gonna work? I think I'll let these soak till tomorrow morning. That's probably too long, but I don't know that we can over soak them. <laughs> yeah, know? better safe than sorry, huh? Yeah, I think so. I'm thinking I have to plan the bottles per layer because it's difficult to think of it in just one layer at a time when you're working with an organic shape. Trying to get it all even has just been well, quite the task for us. I have a suggestion. What if we built the bags up how we want them in the shape you want your swirly and then put all the bottles in at once? I love that. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah. I agree. It's a wonderful yeah, idea. Yeah, and mommy said I did good. <laughs> I'm really good. liking Shay's idea of building up the bags that have the shape of where the bottles are going to fit. Instead of putting the bottles in there, they have saved us a lot of trouble and it looks like it's working. I think we're getting better and better at getting the shape. Fortunately, we're quite a few layers up, but it's going to be good for all future work as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely keep this in our toolbox now. The skid steer has become multi-purpose. Yes. Big time. This truck uh, has a lot of happy family memories built into it. It hauled our family around, you know, all six of us. Before we moved out to the property, we used that truck to haul a 22-foot trailer out to actually start us out for six months here on the property. But lots of happy memories from that. The truck was really cool and it allowed us to start a business. And before we moved out here, we used that truck to haul a trailer and jumping castles. Those it was part of the homeschool thing together. that we were doing. We were able to pull the motor out of that particular truck and put it in the new 2500. And if you remember, we chopped the back for a water trailer. Oh yeah. Truck's gone, now we'll start cleaning out all this other stuff. And he's coming back and he's gonna take that scrap pile too for us, yes. right? Yes. Well, that's gonna be a nice start. I wonder if they soak too long. I don't know, can they soak too long? I don't know. Well, I don't think we soaked them too long because that definitely feels like it's gonna work good. It's still, it's still pretty stiff. Let's go try one, huh? Yeah, that's good. Let's try the curviest one. You know, the one with the most bend in it. Yeah, if it works on that one, we'll work on the rest. Yeah. Now, we need to determine which one has the most bend, I guess. I'm thinking that one right there. The one that we already did once. Yeah, I want to pull those two off because they split. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's go take them off. Okay. See how hard this is going to be. Screws are so handy. Perfect. Let's take this one too. Okay. Here's our new one. Okay. Edit that out. <laughs> Wow, look at that. So you can see how little the soaking actually went in. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's try it. It'll work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Confidence is key, babe. Glue. Yeah. Glue? <laughs> All right, the glue. <laughs> well, nervous. Hey, we'll see if the wider trim looks good or not, too. It's supposed to happen like that. Yeah, this is going to work really good. Such a great idea. Remember how I said we were going to do the curviest one first and then we didn't? Wow, cannot believe that did not split there. Yeah, is that one cut to length? I, I did it perfect the first time. Oh, uh -huh. Had a slight breakage. Probably was due to the knot. And if I was to put it this way, I bet it wouldn't be broken. Let's try this one. This one's honestly the same bow, if not a little more. 
Okay, so let's try and cut this piece then. Well, the big one here worked, and it's the same bow as this other one. So it was definitely just that I chose a piece where there was a knot. So I'm gonna choose a better piece and soak this one again, probably a little longer even. Let's get those last two in, huh? Yeah. Gary was recognizing that the wall is starting to get a little bit high, so he wanted to get the tub over the wall. Put your fingers underneath this. Hang on. We wanted to see, too, the little rectangle that they built. We make sure that it fits nicely. When they were first dropping it in, it didn't look like it was going to fit. It oh, didn't. Uh, something stopping it. Now push. All of the piping and stuff that was inside of it, it just scrunched it. I guess it was movable. Put your fingers. Put your fingers. All right. Yay! I didn't realize they were bendable. That looks great, you guys. Are you seeing it coming together? Because uh -oh. I'm seeing it coming together. It just fit right in there. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Fit like an absolute oh. glove. I was amazed. <laughs> Dad still needs to get the drain and stuff going on for all the stuff that goes underneath it. So we tipped it up. Dad can have easy access to the bottom. Yeah, there. So he's getting the whole drainage yeah. situated. What are you guys up to? Uh, we have about a million pieces and we have to figure out which one goes where. So we know what to hook up at the bottom. A little drainage. Pretty exciting, piece by piece. It's really nice to have together. You know, it's really cool that people are willing to come out and take metal from properties yeah. like this. We had a guy come out and take our metal. It's so overwhelming how messy it is. It gets to be where it's difficult to know yeah. where to start. Got this junk pile gone and the truck is gone. Getting more and more of this stuff cleaned up. Get this whole area cleaned up and get the new shop in. Alrighty, I just pulled this one out of soaking for I think four days now. I did put it in like kind of a bow when it was in there, put some bricks on it differently and didn't really bow it out. Um, it probably would need to be putting more bow on it every Well. <laughs> oh that broke really easily. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Oh yeah. So this one actually we only soaked for three hours. Good to know. If you're soaking wood, more is not better. Kinda looks like that might work. I don't want to speak too soon, but. Yeah. Man, that one works so good. Yes. We're gonna measure and cut out the top and bottom pieces. The last horizontal piece. All right, that's the last of the trim. I love the way it turned out. I really like how it just curves with the wall and follows the line and stuff. It really turned out really cool. It definitely cleaned the walls a lot, windows a lot. All those ugly pallet scenes are now gone. It's looking really good and starting to get really excited to have the walls pretty close to down. The, the windows still have a little bit of trim um, that goes in between the trim and the window, like around on the inside. The soaking of the boards worked really well. That was an awesome idea. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi. Did you want to say something too? <laughs> That's a wrap. It's starting to look more finished. All right, Bray, are we winding down with the spirals? We are winding down. We've got the last of our spirals that we're working on here. I'm just taping these together. That way they're easier to pop onto the walls here. This is the last of them. We had enough bottles and then some. Love all the colors that you chose. They work together really well. They're fun. We had to repeat. You kind of want to repeat a little. These bottles causes us to really have to slow down on the build of the wall, but. You know what? It's art. You can't speed up art. I'm thinking I have to plan the bottles per layer, mm. and Bryson is saying you can tamp that in and set those in anywhere we want. Mm. It's amazing how moldable the dirt is. And here's our metal cleats Bryson's putting in. Yep, I've been just putting one screw, probably plenty. Yeah. I think it's coming along. I'm starting to see 
the wave, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, it's so much more visual because it's difficult to think of it in just one layer at a time when you're working with an organic shape, trying to get it all even. I, there's just been well, quite the task for it. Wonderful. Yeah, and it's nice shape. you can just see that nice smooth wave coming mm -hmm. in there. I think we're gonna carry that on all the way to the top so it won't be a straight wall. That's pretty much gonna be what we do for this week. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I'm really loving the idea of the wave and not putting the bottles in there. Mm -hmm. That would have been really complicated. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely really happy with the way we're doing it and it's coming along good. up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is this lizard and frog depicting friendship. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of the other products that we have over on our shop, as well as the previous designs that we've done throughout the many weeks that we have been producing t-shirt designs, the link will be down in the description. If you missed Wednesday's video, Bryson had a fix that he did on our new skid steer. The link to that will also be down in the description. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! No. We would keep the screws re we we removed we removed, we removed, re we removed from a go kart years ago. No, <laughs> and we would put them in a bin. No, and we would save them. No, so that we could use them someday. <laughs> oh, the Grinch is coming out, and it's not even Christmas. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. <laughs> We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I hope I will see him. He's like, he's like the exact, all the exact little proportions, but they get really big. Whoa! Oh, oh don't do that. You're gonna get yourself hurt. You want to just go put them over by the faucet area? Uh -huh. Hola, hey. cute. Hey, baby. Found this guy. He was helping us out. He's helping us build. It's really cute, isn't he? Yeah. Baby lizard like that. Little baby lizard. Pretty friendly too. He doesn't know the dangers. Mm -mm. Good thing he is he's safe. <laughs> Should we go let him go? Yeah. What do you say, a treat? Sure. Take him to the limb. All right. Take him to the limb and set him free. Go on, Live little wild lizard. and free. Goodbye, little lizard. He's oh. gone. That's fun. We got audio. If you want to say something fun. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me think of what you say. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a job spotter. Who needs a pool? We need to set you up one of these. <laughs>